Uh, in a few moments, you will see the brand new internet tablet from Nokia. I just used this, these pair of scissors to get into the box and here we go. Here we go, here we have it in the flesh. It's the Nokia N810 internet tablet with the QWERTY keyboard. And I uh, will now have the pleasure of opening up the box. If you ever get a Nokia device box and this is open or torn up, uh, be wary of that unless you're getting it from a private seller. Tear this off. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. And as you can see, the packaging looks not that much different from the N800, the way that it looks now, except for the, uh, the open QWERTY pad. We have a thin plastic shield over the device itself, and here it is in all of its glory. It looks to have the same form factor from the side as the Toshiba G900. It reminds me of that as I'm looking at the sliding mechanism here from the side. Here's the QWERTY keypad. And here's the screen. Now I'm noticing here that there is um, overall a more of a metallic finish. As the uh, N800 had a metallic finish on the front, but on the back it was mostly plastic. But what you'll see here is that the N810 is not only metal on the front, it also has a metallic finish on the back as well, which is very nice. Very sleek, very smooth. And the mechanism, the sliding mechanism is not, not that bad. There goes the sliding mechanism there. The, um, the noticeable differences that I'm, as I'm looking at it, that I notice are the speakers. You have, I guess, stereo speakers on either side of the device instead of on the front here, like there was on the um, N800. I'm not too sure what these are all about. I assume this is the camera, the front-facing camera for uh, video calls. And I guess these are buttons here for navigation. And here's some sort of a light that I believe may be an indicator light. And um, these, this may be the full screen button that uh, widens out the screen to full view. And these may be the, um, I guess, the zooming buttons that are the same on the uh, N800. And there is the infamous power button here. And uh, I guess that's, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to take a look at that. There's a stylus that's also included that comes out from the upper right-hand corner of the device. As you can see, it's mostly plastic, much like the other one. It's a bit thinner than the N800, and not, it doesn't feel as um, it doesn't feel as sturdy as the N800 stylus, but um, it, it'll pretty much get the job done, I'm sure. Slide that back in there. We have the headphone port here, 3.5 millimeter, and this port here for the charger. So you have the mini USB port also on the right side, underneath the stand. Yep, here we have the same SD card slot underneath on the bottom of the N810. And then here I believe it could be the battery release door, I'm not too sure. You've got the battery. It's a BP4L. I believe this is the same battery that comes with the, um, the E90. And so um, the E90, the E61i, and if that's the case, that's going to be a very good sign that this thing is going to have long battery life. We have a pair of headphones, 3.5 millimeter with the remote control there, if you can see it, an extra stylus. We go underneath the package. We have 
the getting started guide here which is pretty much your usual you know quick start guide now this is an interesting development here guys um, it turns out that there is a carrying case for the N810 and it looks very much different than the um, N800 there's a tag there for Nokia uh, instead of being like the N800 with the uh, suede feel carrying case you have this one that appears to be leather it's a gray leather that's it feels like it's pretty good quality and then you have some sort of a I guess this is the uh, elastic uh, band here that holds it in from the side and then inside you have a you have a blue uh, velvet suede like cottony soft material that protects it as it's being held here you have a a polishing cloth for the screen which is nice in addition to the usual USB charging cord or connecting cord this is the AC adapter and then you have the charging the charging plug which also goes into the port next to the headphones on the right side of the N810 it looks like some sort of a kickstand in which you'd put the uh, I'll have to check, test this out a little bit later. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is because as you can see, if you can see it, I apologize, it's still in a plastic bag and I can't seem to get it out with one hand, but if you can see here, it looks like some sort of a swivel that connects to the back of this. So, let me have some screws here. All right, well that's pretty much it. We've got this whole box undone for the N810. And um, in the midst of all of this mess, I've lost track of the device. <laughs> there it is. Well, there you go. Um, I'll put up another video comparing this to the N800. And I'll talk to you guys later.